Welcome, welcome to our next lesson. So this lesson is not going to be like the past couple that we've had. This week, all I am asking you to do is explore Chrome Music Lab. And we've done this in school, um, and you have had a little bit of a chance to explore it, but not a lot. And so today, or this week, just check out what, what is here and remind yourself of what is here and, and then play around with it a little bit. Um, I'm going to show you just a couple of things right here and then um, it'll be your your turn to just explore. So for the rhythm, remember that you can click on the dots and that makes the little characters play the instruments up here. And then if you press play, then they will play that pattern that you made down here. Um, and don't forget that you can, um, you can press the arrows over here and it gets new instruments and new characters. All right, so that's rhythm. That's a fun one to explore. I definitely think it's worth it. Um, spectrogram, if you do this, Remember to click on the um, buttons down here. It gets to show you um, the sounds. Uh, and you can do any of these. Th these are some of my favorites that I'm showing you, but any of them are um, good. So this one you just draw with your mouse. Going a little slow right now because I'm recording. And then remember if you do a circle, it kind of becomes a face and has a different sound. Press play. Good, and don't forget, you can change the colors and that changes the sound. So be a little creative with um, your artwork and Maybe you can draw a picture or write something. And that one's kind of like combining art and music together. Um, and this one, Piano Roll, check that one out. You can listen to some famous music, but it's put into Chrome Music Lab. Again, there is arrows to get to different pieces of music. And also you can change the instrument down here to piano so you can try that stuff out and the last one I would say is either song maker or melody maker they're a little bit similar um, but song maker has more options kind of so if you choose song maker I would say to be um, to make it a little bit more straightforward and simple you might come down here to settings you see me down here settings and I would say change the scale from major to pentatonic and do the and change the range down to one octave and if you do that then you have um, less choices and less things to um, to kind of worry about um, remember that we don't want to just make a song based on how it looks. So even though there's these nice colors here, um, we don't want to do all the sounds all at the same time because that just doesn't really sound like music. But if we do like one sound at a time, um, then we start to we start to get some more music sounding things. So play around with that. There's some new instruments down here and you can change how fast or slow it goes here. All right. So your job this week is just to explore Chrome Music Lab. There is going to be a link in the, um, the Seesaw activity. And 
if you'd like, you can record um, your voice talking about what you did in Chrome Music Lab and what you liked. Um, like, which one did you do? Did you do Rhythm? Did you do Song Maker? Did you do Kandinsky and, and get to draw? Um, what did you like about Chrome Music Lab? What did you explore in it? That's all I'm asking you to tell me about um, in Seesaw. Okay? So, there it is. Um, let me know if there's any questions, and I can't wait to hear what you um, did in Chrome Music Lab. I will see you all next week. Bye.